Um, definitely a lot better than having to do this or having to wrestle with your with, with your saw and. Uh, So welcome back to another episode of Travis Does Firewood. Um, I'm not the best filer when it comes to my my chains. I know the gist of it. I know that it needs to be done. I know that ideally you sharpen your chain when you run out of gas, which is the same time that you fill up on bar oil. Um, you are a disservice to your saw when your chain is is dull. Now, there's a lot of YouTube channels out there that are pro at sharpening, maintaining your bar and your chain. I'm, I'm not that guy. I use those channels for myself to learn. So, um, But I do know that it's super frustrating when you're trying to, trying to file by hand or even with you, you, use, you use like a Dremel tool, which a lot of people use out there, which, which is fine again. Um, I like the feel of the the hand file though, um, getting the gullet, etc. But I it is you're clunky. I mean, even if you're using gloves, I mean, this thing is all over the place, and it's super frustrating. So I think I have a solution um, to to um, this being so clunky. So stay tuned. So I'm in my garage again. Forgive the mess. It is what it is. Um, yeah. Um, so a lot of times when um, people are going to um, sharpen their chain, um, they're going to put it in a vise. Now, I have a vise. This is on the other side of my garage. And it's a big mamma jamma and not really set up for... Um, it's, it's just too big for this setup. Now, I could buy another vise and have it here um, in my workspace that I do my work on my chainsaws and my small gas engines but there's one more thing to be I would probably have to be have it be right here in the middle of my workspace my, can you see that right here where I'm standing it's kind of in the way so um, not not ideal by any means I prefer that it I don't yeah so what's your other option now out there Amazon or a local, local hardware store or where you buy your chainsaws your local husky or steel dealer um they'll have like mobile log vices where you have like a two prongs at the end that you will bang into a log perhaps and then there, there's a little vice inside that would vice would go in between um and kind of pinch the bar and then you could do it that way well we're not all in the woods we're not all arborists we're not all tree killers we're not all tree service folk um and I'm, I'm not going to jam, hammer one of those log vices into my workbench. Not that my workbench is the greatest. It's just, this is not going to work. So um, there's that option for you. But, and then uh, there's another option out there too. We Chris at In The Wood Yard has developed with his good buddy, I think Bert is his name, um, a stationary workshop 
or tailgate type vise and all you're getting is the aluminum part and some screws and you mount that vise onto a board with some legs that have to be stable and that is a mobile um our, our mobile station for um your sharpening of your chain um he usually does it on the back of his tailgate um seems to work very well is it, it's aluminum so if you end up banging it um in or, or if your chain bangs it into it um it's a soft metal so it's not going to cause uh, too much harm but the only thing is the price point i think he went up from seventy dollars a unit to now eighty in terms of um um, his costs and he'll only do a batch of 50 at a time and it seemed to sell out pretty fast which is fine um, I think it's it's a great item to have um, it's it, and, and it's something that's not really on the market right now uh, mainstream which I'm super super surprised about um, because there's so many of us in the in the firework community who um, sharpen their own chains as opposed to having to um, have a chain tote and you go to the local guy our person and they sharpen them for you I that would be ideal but I I, I feel confident in my sharpening skills so I'm surprised that, that there hasn't been something else like it that's been on the market so um so uh, kudos to Chris and Bert with a new new um, tool I feel that that would take off very well but I have another idea that is very similar but is definitely cheaper Let, let's check it out so I was thinking about how how to go about um get this pan down here i was thinking about how to utilize what tools and materials i have already and uh, clamping this thing down so it's not all over the place when you're trying to uh, sharpen it so this is what i came up with all right so what i came up with here is a basic c clamp from harbor freight I believe Harbor Freight, they're, they're, they're like a few dollars a piece. This will screw. And then this is clamped down with this, some sort of like, I think it's um, an L bracket that I had laying around. It's not the ideal um, having to be secure, but it's it, 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 it seems to work fine. This is, the, the, this, is, this is stable enough. Now, I can screw in this table, but I'm not going to put one of those mobile log, log, um, uh, vices in my table so these screws are, are fine i think probably better to bolt it down um better and have maybe maybe two on here but there's enough see the depth on here there's enough space in here for a bar to fit in and not hit this bottom now the issue is with these c-clamps if you're going to use it is you have space here when you're going to wind it to screw it down but there's no spacer on this side so what I ended up doing is taking like a random bolt and putting it in here. So then this space right here where my, where my pinky is, that's the space where the bar goes. So it's not foolproof. I think if I had a welder or knew how to weld or whatever, adding some like a bolt here and welding it here. So then this would be stationary. So then I could just put it in here. Now, again, like for Chris's, his vice is aluminum, so if you bang it into it with your with your chain, not that big of a deal. Probably won't do anything. Where this is going, I think this is aluminum because this is a bolt from an an ICB tote. But this is I think steel, and this is like cast cast whatever. So it's definitely gonna if you bang into it, definitely gonna cause some harm to your sharp edge. So um, yeah, I thought that this was a good idea. I think it makes sense um and definitely cheap i mean this is all in all i mean five bucks worth of material here um and not i'm not too shabby of an idea and i'm sure a lot of you have had uh similar ideas of, of like this but it's just having to implement it so i'm going to show you so this is simply new to me i've used it for a bit wanting to to do wanting to do an episode on it for you so this is what it is I'm just going to screw it down to clamp it. We'll, put, we'll have to hold this in place and, and, and get the bar in there and um, then it's good to go. So let's, let's, let's show you how I use it. All right. <clears throat> so check this out. So here's my Husky, my largest one, my the 460 Rancher or Forester or something. I don't know. Um, so you put it in here, 
like so. Have the have the bolt on the other side, like I, like like I mentioned. Kind of hold it. Now you have to kind of hold the blade, the bar down a little bit, so it will get in there, but not far enough where it's touching um, the the inside of your of your bar. So it takes a few hands. Ideally, to have to weld another spacer on the other side of the C-clamp. I think that I think that's the bummer of this whole process is to make sure that everything is lined up. You're not going to pinch your finger when you do this. It does take um, a little bit. It's not that difficult. It's more more cumbersome than anything here is um, to get this all all lined up. So to so definitely want to get it on the bar, definitely not on the chain, but high enough um, on the vice or the your C clamp, your vice contraption here, where it will um, not touch. So uh, yeah, so uh, so I, I'm. I'm hitting the bracket with the chain, so I need to loosen it up and go a little higher and then keep it higher and then tighten it. And now okay, that's going good. And then now my clamp is just above the chain, so that's gonna be fine. So yeah, so I mean, that's, that's pretty simple enough to install without too much of a hassle. And for the price point, um, I don't think you can go wrong. So, um, are you interested in watching me file for a bit? I mean, I'm not the greatest filer and I need to I need to I need to tighten this chain before I do that But you want to watch me? Oh, okay, the, sure why not so let's let, 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 let's get this tightened and I'll sharpen for a bit. Let's do it Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'll, I'll do. Yeah. So in theory, so the thing about this is, in theory, you can do both sides at one time, um, as opposed to um, no vice. You're you're having to kind of switch sides or put it put put the saw under your arm or under your legs or whatever you know. So um, I feel that this, that, 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 that this is a better system. It's gonna touch up the. A little bit here on both sides so I mean you could you could set the brake I think that that's I think a lot of people do that for each tooth and then uh, chain break it off and then move the move move and then move 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 to the next one yeah I think I'm gonna do every other one here it's not, not I'll, I'll do this can't really see what I'm doing here but um, again I'm not I'm not the best filer so if you want you want a, a video on filing, I'm I'm not the guy. I'm definitely not the guy for filing. But just to show you how stable this is. How I mean it's not like perfect. I mean this is rocking a little bit when I did that, but it's it's definitely a lot better than having to hold it under your arm or your or armpit or like one hand on the saw um, as you're filing with your hand file. Right? Yeah, some of these teeth are rounded. Like I need to be be better about sharpening my, my chainsaw. So that I mean I'm so again a few other things um, I'm not I'm not the guy to watch for filing or the person to watch for filing I know a lot of you are like having to comment about my filing style or skills go ahead like I again I admit I'm not the best filer so um, I'm just this is to have to demonstrate to you 
this idea of a bar vise. Now, it's not the only way to do this. This is something I had and thought of, implemented, and I'm showing you just ideas. Um, if you have any more ideas, suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I, I'm not sure if it, can you leave pictures and comments? Probably not, but um, if, you, if you have any more uh, of your own ideas of how a vice to hold your bar so you can file, email me and I'll, I'll put them up on the next episode or so of, of what other people are, are using that is cost effective um, in their own in their own shed, their their own garage, or on 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 their tailgate, and let's share the wealth within the firewood family community um, to help each other on that way. So again, the C clamp I think is is is, is a good idea. Um, definitely a lot better than having to do this or having to wrestle with your with, with your saw. Do this or have to wrestle with you with your saw. And um, to get your chain sharpened. So I hope this helped uh, a lot of you. Um, let me know your thoughts, or ideas um, in the comments. But thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, let's see, safe, keep cutting. I'll see you next time. Cheers.